Hey guys, if anyone here has ever been stung by a bee or not, please comment and share your memorable experiences down below. Dear friends, bees have long been a familiar creature in human life. They serve many purposes, provide us with honey, and play a vital role in pollinating crops. However, alongside these roles, there are countless fascinating and surprising secrets about these creatures that you might not have discovered yet. In today's video, let's explore together and see what surprising facts there are about bees. There are many species of bees, but I will use honeybees as an example to describe the bees' maturation process. First, let's explore the reproduction and maturation process of honeybees. Dear friends, honeybees are highly social insects, similar to ants or termites. They live in colonies, each consisting of worker bees, a queen bee, and drone bees. Within the colony, there's a clear division of labor. Worker bees make up the majority, sometimes ranging from 25,000 to 50,000 individuals. They live in various locations, including tree cavities, rock crevices, thickets in forests, or man-made beehives. So, have you ever wondered how they go through the process of reproduction and maturation? Through the research process, it's been discovered that within a beehive, there is only one queen bee, and this bee is responsible for reproduction. The queen bee can lay up to 1500 eggs per day. They primarily lay eggs during the spring and summer seasons. A queen bee can lay around a million eggs in its five-year lifespan. The life stages of a bee consist of eggs, followed by larvae, then pupae, and finally, they emerge as fully developed adult bees. One rather frightening fact is that after mating, the male bee dies. It sacrifices itself for the next generation to come into existence. Bee eggs are very small and white. After three days, the egg develops into a legless and eyeless larva. As the larva grows, it molts and sheds its outer skin several times. After six days, worker bees seal the hive cell with a layer of wax. Inside the sealed cell, the larva spins a cocoon around itself and transforms into a pupa. During this process, the pupa develops into a fully formed adult bee with a complete head, thorax, abdomen, wings, and legs. Once the pupal stage is complete, it chews its way out of the hive and emerges as a mature adult bee. And right after this, let's have the admin answer a question that many of you might be curious about. Second, why do honeybees die after stinging? Dear friends, a honeybee colony always has diligent and brave worker bees, constantly guarding vigilantly. This bee species becomes extremely aggressive if their hive is threatened or attacked. They are willing to eliminate anyone who dares to approach their hive. These bees release a chemical substance to alert other bees, prompting them to swarm out of the hive and engage in combat with the intruders. So, when honeybees typically attack as a group, it can be very dangerous, right? However, there's a bitter truth for honeybees. When they launch an attack, even if they inflict pain on their target with their stings, they have to pay a high price, often with their own lives. Unlike bumblebees, which can retract their stingers and fly away after stinging, honeybees cannot. They die after stinging a mammal. The reason for this is the structure of the honeybee's stinger, which has barbs. Similar to a harpoon with the purpose of delivering its sting as deeply as possible, when a honeybee stings a mammal, it thrusts the stinger deep into the skin to inject venom and become stuck. It's forced to pull its stinger out of its body, along with a portion of its digestive tract and nerve cord, causing damage to its abdomen. This abdominal injury will cause the honeybee to die a few minutes later. However, honeybees only die when they sting mammals or certain birds, as they can easily retract their stinger when stinging other insects or bee species. Have you ever wondered how honey is harvested? You'll find out in the next section. The astonishing process of honey harvesting asterisk. For those of you who keep bees to collect honey, you probably understand the process quite well. It involves building hives, ensuring the bees have enough food, and creating the best living environment for them. When it's time for harvesting, you collect the honey, extract it, and bottle it for sale. That's it. However, if you want to have the best, naturally pure, fragrant, and delicious honey of the highest quality, you have to talk about wild honey. Wild honey is a gift bestowed upon us by nature. Nevertheless, the process of harvesting wild honey is not as simple as enjoying honey, as it involves a tough and sweaty journey. Firstly, you need to determine where the bee colony is located. Harvesters of wild honey must have the skill to handle this situation with great care because wild bees can be extremely aggressive when they sense someone attempting to harvest their honey. 
They will attack fiercely, and some people even end up in the hospital after trying to harvest wild honey. To start, they wear protective gear to prevent bee stings, then they gather leaves from the forest, tie them into bundles, and light a fire to produce smoke that drives the bees away, allowing them to collect the honey. It might sound simple, but when you see thousands of bees swarming straight at your face, you'll realize just how intense the experience can be. Not to mention, when dealing with hives located in high places, they have to climb and navigate dangerously. Then they proceed to cut the honeycomb and extract the honey. After proper filtration, the honey is stored in glass jars for sale. However, the most dangerous honey harvesting is carried out by the indigenous people living at the base of the mountain range. In Nepal, for instance, people risk their lives to harvest honey from the nests of the world's largest honeybee with ropes and cords. Nepalese climbers use extraordinary climbing and balancing skills to collect honey from the Himalayan mountains. Here, honeybees often build their hives on steep and treacherous mountain cliffs, making them inaccessible to other predators. However, how can they escape the hands of the Nepalese people? Harvesting honey is a dangerous and physically demanding job that requires exceptional skills in climbing and balancing. After a hunting trip, the bee stings and scratches seem to become familiar to the harvesters in this region. Has anyone here ever had the opportunity to directly harvest honey like this? If so, please share your experiences with everyone in the comments. Next, let's explore the most dangerous bee species in the world that you should be very cautious about. Number 4. The World's Most Dangerous Bee Species Do you know that there are many different species of bees? Some are very gentle and harmless, providing us with honey, but there are also some terrifying bee species that can take a person's life with just one sting. One of the bee species that strikes fear into people's hearts just by hearing its name is the Asian giant hornet. This native insect, found in temperate and tropical regions of East Asia, is infamous for its nickname, the murder hornet, due to its potent venom and ferocious nature. The Asian giant hornet can reach up to 5 centimeters in length, making it one of the largest and most dangerous bee species on the planet. Research has shown that its venom attacks the nervous system and poses a lethal threat to victims if not treated promptly after being stung. In Japan, the Asian giant hornet is known as the sparrow bee. These hornets are carnivorous, capable of crushing even horseflies and other large insects to use as food. Terrifyingly, every year in Japan, there are between 30 to 40 fatalities due to the stings of this giant hornet species. This number is significantly higher than the total fatalities caused by bear or snake attacks. Equally haunting is the lesser banded hornet. This species is quite familiar to us, especially in hilly areas or regions with many gardens. It belongs to the hornet family, with a round body that features a blend of black and yellow markings. This wasp is also known as a venomous killer. Its venom contains substances that quickly induce shock, intense pain, and swelling causing severe damage to vital organs like the liver and kidneys. In severe cases, it can lead to respiratory failure and death. If a lesser banded hornet approaches you, it's best to remain calm and walk away. Do not try to chase it away or swat it, as this may provoke an attack by the entire swarm. Additionally, these wasps can sting repeatedly, so it's unwise to provoke them. Furthermore, there are many other dangerous bee species, such as sweat bees, ground bees, and killer bees, all of which are skilled assassins that instill fear in humans. Next, let's marvel at an astonishingly crazy record that would make anyone shudder upon witnessing it. Fifth, a record of one, one million bee stings on one person. Anyone who has been stung by a bee knows the haunting sensation of pain, swelling, and numbness that these creatures can inflict. However, it's safe to say that being surrounded by millions of bees would be nearly impossible to endure unscathed. Dear friends, over eight years ago, the world was in shock and awe when witnessing a man named Gao Bingguo from China break a record by wearing a bee coat weighing a whopping 109.05 kilograms. Participating in this challenge, the 50-year-old Gao Bingguo covered himself in honey and placed 10 queen bees on his body to attract worker bees. Soon after, the worker bees swarmed and surrounded him. According to the BBC, the record for the number of bees on his body lasted for over an hour, with an estimated 1.1 million bees weighing more than 109 kg. To achieve this record, he practiced this stunt over 60 times and was stung at least 2,000 times. It looks truly terrifying, doesn't it? This challenge is extremely dangerous, so please do not attempt it under any circumstances. 
and right now, we have a horrifying mystery involving super creepy bees that could make you scream just by watching. Number 6. The terrifying mystery of bees that turn prey into zombies. When we think of zombies, we often associate them with the terrifying scenarios depicted in horror movies. However, to our surprise, the world of bees also has its own ruthless destroyers. One prime example is the tarantula hawk, a parasitic wasp species. These wasps specialize in attacking tarantula spiders, paralyzing them with a series of stings. Despite the spiders being many times larger, they cannot withstand the onslaught. They are quickly paralyzed by the wasp's venom, and despite their efforts, the spider ultimately succumbs. The tarantula hawk then drags its paralyzed prey back to its nest and lays eggs inside the spider's body. When the eggs hatch, the larva will consume the spider and live inside its body until they mature, which takes about 35 days. Even more brutal is the ampulex wasp, and its target is cockroaches. When it identifies its prey, it charges and swiftly injects a nerve toxin into the cockroach's brain to subdue it. At this point, the cockroach's strength is drained, and it moves under the control of the ampulex wasp. During the breeding season, the mother wasp doesn't kill the cockroach but lays an egg on its back. This egg hatches after three to four days. The larva begins by slowly eating away at and consuming the cockroach's body until it molts. What's remarkable is that despite feeding on and severely damaging the cockroach's body, this parasitic group ensures that the victim can survive for the next four days. Once the larva has accumulated enough nutrients and forms a new cocoon inside, the cockroach finally departs from this world. After a while, the fully matured wasp emerges from the host's body, bores a hole, and continues its twisted cycle of development and parasitism on a new victim. Let's explore some more incredibly rare and unusual bee species that you might not believe exist. Number 7. The world's weirdest bee species. First up is the giant bee. Recently, researchers have rediscovered a monstrous bee species that had been extinct for nearly 40 years. It's known as Wallace's giant bee, native to Indonesia. It measures up to 3.5 centimeters in length, roughly the size of an adult human thumb, with wingspans of up to 6 centimeters, which is 5 to 6 times larger than a typical bee. The most vibrant among the bee family is the Euglossine bee. It's considered the most colorful group of bees in the world due to their bodies displaying captivating metallic hues like green, blue, and gold. However, the most horrifying has to be the flesh-eating bee known as the asterisk asterisk vulture bee. Unlike bees that rely on nectar for sustenance, these bees have a taste for decaying flesh. A group of scientists from the University of California, Riverside, placed pieces of raw chicken on a tree for five days and found that these bees crawled onto the putrid meat, using specialized mandibles to cut pieces of it. They would then collect the meat in small pockets on their hind legs or swallow it into their stomachs. Astonishingly, despite their different diet, vulture bees still produce sweet honey. Isn't that astonishing, folks? Dear friends, in the previous segment, we explored and discovered many fascinating and surprising mysteries about bees together. If there was a particular fact that impressed you the most, please leave a comment, share your thoughts, and let me know your opinions. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be the first to watch our latest and greatest videos every day. Thank you for tuning in, and for now, goodbye and see you in the next episode.